Hello, this is Dumont. Today, I want to do a review of Terror Claw. Terror Claw is actually an old Bakugan, and it was the very first Bakugan that I made a review of. I think it's a very interesting idea to do a review of an old Bakugan, and there's actually been one person who has been doing this. Um, he's actually doing a series of doing reviews on old Bakugan instead of the new ones and his name is Ace Bakugan Reviews now this user username Ace Bakugan Reviews has been very supportive of me um, he's mentioned me and put up links and stuff like that so uh, I'm just returning the favor here um, I definitely think that his videos are very well done and the fact that he's revisiting the old Bakugans is well, like I said, that is a that is a very very good idea. I think you know instead of just going for the brand new ones that are coming out, so that's very refreshing. So definitely uh, check out check out his videos. Like I said, they're they're well done. I think you'll find them entertaining. Now, another reason why uh, I'm interested in doing a review of Terror Claw is because uh, recently I got a message, uh, I got a comment actually from two 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 Megatron, and this person you know had seen my video apparently and basically said that uh, he thought that it would be cool if it could attach to one of the Maxis meaning uh, Maxis Helios or Maxis Drago and this is because I mentioned that uh, as a fan mode Terra Claw can actually become a giant claw which is very cool because you know his name is Terra Claw and then he's a crab that has claws so that's you know, goes with the name, and then on top of that, he turns it. He has a fan mode as a giant claw, and he was he was thinking that hey, if you could attach that to one of the Maxis, that would be great. And uh, you know, I responded back like, yeah, that would be great, but you know, too bad that you really can't do it. You know, that type of thing. So, whatever. Well, uh, apparently, uh, 222 Megatron, uh, from my guess, does not have a Terra Claw because it, one of his other questions he asked me was, he said. Uh, you know, are they hard to find? And right now, yes, yes, uh, they are hard to find because he's he's kind of old. You know, you can't just go to a store and pick them up. So, uh, so that's my whole guess. But uh, I was checking out Terra Claw, and I did mention this before in my original review that he has a hole on his head, right there. And uh, guess what? That hole is compatible to the pegs for the Maxis uh, Helios parts that I've seen and I'll, I'll show you that in a second but first let me go through a review of Terra Claw in his Marvel form I really didn't find much to talk about so I'm just gonna skip that completely uh, his G's are 520 in case you're wondering he's obviously Aquas with the nice symbol uh, right there which is you know it's a, it's a pretty good location you know it lets you know right away and his feet right here he has four four of these feet that can come out. Uh, these are manual and they're purely aesthetic. As you can see, uh, they do not touch the card. See that? They're floating up above, so they're not functional. It's purely uh, aesthetic, meaning it's just there for looks, which is actually nice. You know, it is nice. And his claws right here, um, these aren't manual and they, they just kind of flop down like this. So if you've seen the jaw for a Polyneer, the way they just kind of dangle, that's how his claws are, okay? Um, so in a way, I guess that's that's uh, automatic, in a sense, without really being automatic. So that's how his claws work. And transformation-wise, he's actually very, very simple. Um, to show you guys, you just pretty much, that's it. That's it, really. There's no other parts. And then, you know, this right here are his, uh, his legs, and I said those are manual. And this is the whole giant claw thingy that uh, that we've been talking about and let me grab over here this is a metal fencer and I've, I already have them ready metal fencer so I have the uh, the two back legs and the peg right here and you just basically stab them in like like so and see it works very nicely okay so it connects very well and right here we have Terra Claw 
Metal Fencer. It's actually a cool name. Um, in the old Masters of the Universe He-Man line, they had uh, a Skeletor called Terror Claw Dragon Armor Skeletor, I think it was his name. So it reminds me of that name-wise. So that's pretty cool. And also, to show you, this is a, uh, what's his face? Uh, spindle. And so we'll just grab Terror Claw right here. Detach him there. And see that? He fits into the peg of Mr. Spindle. And I'll put him onto the card right there. Because it's heavy, it's going to make Spindle, you know, squat down like this. But as you can see, it connects no problem. So here we have Terror Claw Spindle. So that's very, very fun to play around with. You know, it just gives you more options for your uh, Maxis. And it just makes Terror Claw that much cooler. So. Let me detach that and come, you know, put him back by himself. So we have Terra Claw by himself here now, and uh, let me talk about Terra Claw. Uh, his transformation is super simple, and because because of that, like compared to Stug, this is another reason why I wanted to talk about Terra Claw because Stug is like really popular right now, and Stug is like a a lobster plus a hermit crab plus a crab plus a shrimp, you know. Uh, whereas through Terra Claw, I think it's pretty obvious this is a crab, nothing else, you know. And uh, the simplicity I like very, very much. And another thing is it works. You know what he is, and he pulls it off. A lot of the older Bakugan are abstract. And what what do I mean by abstract? Abstract meaning like let's talk about Stinglash, okay? Stinglash is an abstract Bakugan because he does not look like a scorpion, even though that's what he is. From the name, it almost makes me think of a Stingray. And honestly, if we said Stinglash was a Stingray, it wouldn't matter because he looks just as much as he does a Stingray as he does a Scorpion, meaning he doesn't really look like either one of those things. Okay, so it almost doesn't matter. Whereas a Terror Claw, he actually looks like a crab. Okay, I'll try to show you different angles of the guy right here. You know, this, this they pulled it off very well. And if you look at uh, someone like Juggernoid, Okay, Juggernoid is one that um, he looks like a turtle. They did a good job, but I would have to say that Terra Claw looks more like a crab than Juggernoid looks like a turtle. So that just makes it seem like Terra Claw did a very, very good job. Now, you may prefer turtles over crabs, okay? Crab may not be the most popular animal out there. But if you think about it, um, there's other ones like uh, snakes and worms and stuff like that. And what makes Terra Claw kind of cool is that he is a crab, a cancer. And what makes a crab a little bit cooler than just any other animal, right, is that a crab cancer is a constellation, you know. I think they should make the other 12. I mean, all 12, you know, the crab Leo, uh, Libra you know, Aries, make make all of them, you know, but uh, they do have the Cancer guy right here, and uh, so that is, that is very cool. All right, my final thoughts and conclusion on Terra Claw. Uh, overall, uh, he has a very simple, solid transformation. Uh, I do like it very much. Um, I personally like the uh, water or the ocean-related Bakugan because I like marine biology. Well, Sirenoid is one of my favorite Bakugans of all time. It's definitely in my top 10. And out of those water creature type Bakugans, um, Terra Claw is definitely up there. I like it more than Stug, um, you know. So I, I do give uh, props to Terra Claw. I do like his fan mode. Um, I also like that newly discovered, uh, you know, combiner aspect that he has. Uh, I, I think he's he's very well done. I do definitely recommend him. The only negative that I can really think of is that in the show, he totally sucks. Um, he's, he's just like a... I don't think... He doesn't even talk, and he just like... He makes like some weird insect-type noise, and, and he's uh, kind of like Warius, you know? They, they don't show him any love in the show. But uh, nonetheless, the actual toy itself is, is pretty freaking awesome.